Hello, it is me, Jade Star 117, if I'm being specific. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to do a review. I wanted to do my first review, and it's also like a first time using, I guess. Um, this Christmas, I got some extra money, and I went out and bought myself my first curl. I've never had a curling wand before and um, I thought that it would be awesome to go out and buy one because people use them and I don't have one and every girl should probably have a curling wand. Um, so I bought this Remington Tea Studio uh, Thermosoak Thermolux Advanced Therapy Technology. Um, I got this at Target. It was $29.99. So, yeah. So, I have opened it already to kind of deal with that. So, we're going to set that aside. So, I pulled it out of the box, and this is what it looks like. It's very sleek. This is the 3 fourths inch to 1 inch. Um, it's ceramic. It has the buttons here on the side. A nice long cord with uh, warning water. Warning. You know, this product can burn eyes. Great. So, um, it also came with this glove, which this is, um, re I'm really unsure about this. It looks just like a regular winter glove, so I haven't watched any other reviews about this, so you can see it's just this stocking glove. Um, as far as heat protecting, I don't know what it's gonna do. Um, now I did watch like a video just to make sure that I don't look like a complete idiot uh, using a curling wand because I've never really used one before. I do have one that I got at a thrift store but it still has like the clip that you still like twist the hair up with. I got that for like two dollars but it curls my hair a little too tight. Um, so you can see that so today I took a shower, washed my hair, um, I let it air dry. My hair is somewhat like curly wavy when I was younger it used to be really really tight curls uh, I'm mixed so I kind of have mixed hair it does have like waves but um, it doesn't really have like that curl volume that I was I like to have sometimes when I've used like curling irons and things like that um, but I just let it naturally air dry I've been trying not to do too much heat on it which is gonna sound stupid here just in a minute um, but when I get out of the shower, I've been putting this on there, this Pantene Expert. I got this at Target on clearance. It was $15. I got it for $4. <laughs> um, I've been using this. Is, is it helping? You know, I'm not too sure. My split ends don't seem to be as bad. I still have some right now. I recently dyed my tips um, a couple weeks ago. Those need to get trimmed out. But I use this almost every day on my ends. Um, I also have been using this Chi Argon Oil that I got as a sample. I got this from Ulta for 47 cents. It was a dollar. So this is amazing. Argon Oil um, is something I've started using the last couple weeks after watching videos and things like that. And it just, I mean, I, th I feel like it's making my hair feel much better. Um, and then because I knew that I was going to be doing some heat stuff, I did spray some of this in. I am going to spray some more of this in in just a second. This Tresemme Thermal Creations uh, Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. So this is naturally air dried. Sometimes I blow dry it. Like I said, lately I've been trying not to do too much heat. I do so much in the summertime when I'm working. Um, so right now what I'm going to do, so you can see how the wand works, because my hair is curly kind of already, I'm going to run a straightener through it. Um, just to get out some of the curl that's kind of already in there so I'm just spritzing some of this heat taming spray I mostly do it on the ends not too much towards the bait to the roots just cuz my ends are what you need protecting and this I'm gonna show you my straightener which I've had for years you can see how ratted up it is it's because I've used this thing I've had this for almost 10 years. It's a rusk. Um, I love it. 10 years going strong on this thing. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through real quick off camera and straighten my hair. Um, I do use it on max heat, which, you know, uh, but I'm going to just straighten it out a little bit. 
just to get some of the curls out. And okay, so I'm back. I just straightened my hair. Um, it literally took me five minutes. I just ran it through real quick just to get all the kind of curls and kinks out. Uh, I was going to tell you too, I don't know if anybody else does this, but I use this brush when I straighten my hair. I stick the piece on there, I put my straightener kind of right in along after it, and I do it like this. And this works wonders. It gets my ends straight, there's no kinks or anything. It just helps move the hair through the straightener so well. And I will never, ever not use a brush like this when I straighten my hair. It just works that good. Um, okay, so. I've got this Remington T-Studio Thermalux curling wand. It's plugged in. Again, high heat, 410. I always use high heat. I don't know why. Um, so, uh, like I said, I did watch a video just to make sure I didn't look like a complete fool. Because um, it's really kind of complicated because you don't have that clasp thingy to kind of grab a hold of the hair. So I wasn't quite sure, you know, like... Which way you hold it? Um, and I, you know, who wants to look like a fool on the internet? Um, I'm sorry if I keep saying um too. It's just something that I do. I just kind of rough parted my hair down the middle. Um, I'm probably going to start maybe at the bottom and work my way up to the top. Um, that's what I usually do when I straighten. So that's probably what I should do when I curl. I am gonna wear this glove at some point when it gets heated up and ready for me to uh, use. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my hair up. I just use ponytails to kind of wad it up at the top. Not really in any particular fashion or order. And then I'll probably maybe divide this in two. Try to do it that way. I'm not sure if I got any clips or anything else. I'll try to, sorry, hold up maybe this piece of hair or something. It probably won't work because it never does. Um, yeah. Alrighty, so it is heated up. And like I said, it's got kind of a digital display with there because at first I was like, oh, where do I see the temperature? But it's digital right there, which is super awesome. Don't even burn my forehead. I'm going to put this glove on because I'm going to be... This is the part that's complicated. Now, I know in the video you do, they do it from the top because that's where they go down. If I burn myself, it's okay to laugh out loud because I will probably laugh as well. So I know you go from the top and I'm not really sure which way you wrap it around but I'm just gonna go this way and I believe you just wrap it around. I'm gonna twist it up just a little bit and just hold it there for a few seconds. I'm not really sure how long. Like I said, I have a, a, a curling wand that holds the hair, but nothing like this. Um, I mean, I can feel the heat from the wand through this glove. I'd probably say that's probably long enough. It gives it, oh, that's kind of nice. A nice little kind of wave there. I miss this piece here, so maybe I'll. Oh, that's the scary part right there going in. Kind of. People are probably watching going, ah, oh, she's doing this completely wrong. Well, comment below and tell me what I did wrong because, like I said, I never really used a wand before. Alright, so I'm going to move on to this piece here. Try to stick with the same direction that I went before. Oops, see that part's hard getting it to kind of stay around there. It, it was probably the worst review of all times I've ever watched about a curling wand, but there's just, <laughs> there's just nothing I can do about it besides just trying my best. So I'll hold that on there for a few seconds. too bad there too. It gives it kind of a, a unique shape. Like I said, I'm curling in, 
but you could probably curl the opposite direction backwards. But that looks, well, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that right there. It's a little bouncy, a little fun, a little uh, kind of different shaped, not like a curl ringlet, because sometimes you get those ringlets like my other curling wand does that are just way too, okay, so like this is where, okay, so I use this hand because this is my wrapping hand. I'm gonna twist it a little bit to tighten it a little bit. I think I'm doing this right. You know, we'll see. We'll see if it turns out okay. But the curling wand, it's hot, I can feel it. It seems to be giving me a good curl. I mean, obviously you can hold it longer on there to get more of a, more of a, what's the term for it? Thick curl, stain curl, more of a dense, tighter curl. Why don't I kind of undo that one? Should have held this piece up with some, a pin. Again, this is the part that's complicated because it's like, which hand do I see? Now I'm going backwards this way. Woo! <laughs> okay, here we go. I got it. Nobody laugh. Don't laugh. We're being serious. This is a review. All right. Super serious. Totally. It's totally curling. I can totally feel the heat. After this couple curls, um, I'll kind of, oops. See that the tricky part is it kind of slides off of this, so you really got to kind of hold on to it with your hand. That's kind of hard. Let me try to get this. It just slips right out. I guess you got to try to not be so afraid. Let me get a little tougher here and not be afraid to burn myself. It'd be funny if I did. Give everybody a good laugh if I just scolded my ear right off or, you know, just burn a chuck of my ear right off. <laughs> Awkward silence. It's a little better. All right, so I'm going to cut off for a second and then do kind of like the midsections. And Alrighty, so as you can see, I finished curling kind of most of my hair. And I absolutely love it. I love the way the curls look right now. It's not too curly. It's like this fun, like, sexy wave, basically, is what I'm going to call it. Um, so I'm going to curl the top section, what I got left here. Um, I did kind of figure out a sort of a trick. I don't know. It was just working easier for me. Um, but I'm still retarded when I to the hair on this side versus this side because I'm right-handed um, so again I'm just gonna chunky part and we'll do the retarded side first because <laughs> I just can't seem to hold it over there properly <laughs> got my glove which you can definitely feel the heat through but it's not like an instant burn on your fingers which is kind of nice but still interesting winter glove so I'm gonna cut this in two switch hands here which always gets me goofy and this time I'm gonna curl see this is why it's hard I'm gonna curl this way now I did notice if I put the curling iron you see, look it looks probably a little crazy right on my skull I can like the handle I can kind of wrap it around a little easier um, it just it seems easier to, for me just to put the handle right on my scalp I can wrap the curl easier without trying to manage which way the heck I have to turn it while looking at a camera and a mirror. So, um, yeah. I'm just, oops, see a little bit. Sometimes it undoes. But I just twist it back on there. It's, it's gonna take some getting used to, I tell you what. It's not like a curling iron. This is, like, this is tricky. So definitely uh, take some getting used to, so don't get discouraged. The first time you use it that's probably good oh yeah oh yeah so now i'm going to do the same thing with this one although i'm going to try to do it i know it looks super scary because i'm kind of close 
to my scalp, but I tell you what, it just works easier to stick that thing right on there. You see my hand shaking? It's because it's just awkward positioning. It's just awkward. A few seconds on there. Almost done. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Especially for my first review on a product I've never used before. I mean, only imagine how well it's going. <sighs> okay, so now I'm gonna do this side, kinda get the gummies out. Well, this side I feel like I've mastered. Throw it on the scalp, rip it around. Look at that. Perfect. Just something about the other side is just too awkward for me. <laughs> I hope you guys are liking the way the curls look. I really like them. I mean, much better than my curling iron. It's just like different than my curling iron, different than my other wand I have, which I can show you if you really want to see it. Um, but I just really like, wow, that picture on my wall, wild female is super crooked. Sorry about that. Super crooked. so wow I love this I'm super excited um, and it's taken me I don't know 10 15 20 minutes maybe it might go faster like once I get used to holding it you watch a couple of more videos trying to get some more tips um, and you can also do bigger chunks of hair like I'm kind of doing smaller just to see how it is but if I was in a hurry I might just do like the ends like in like section into fours and just do um, the ends just to get it kind of curl on the bottom so that's always a trick to do of hair here. Seriously, thank you for watching. If you watch this, I really appreciate it. Make sure you comment below um, if you have any questions or like I said, if you can tell me a program that you can fast forward to that stuff because I'm, like I said, I'm really new. Um, any comments or anything are greatly appreciated. Um, if there's any video requests that you have, or if you wanted to see like how I straighten my hair or anything, I'd be happy to do that as well. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. I think it looks fabulous. Now what I do usually when I curl my hair is I put a little product in and this. Um, it's not the best. I got it on sale, Keratin Smooth. I just kind of use it on my ends um, by Tresemme keratin infusing smoothing serum um, I've had much better but this stuff is just okay but I kind of just use it when I'm curling just kind of throw it on the ends just to kind of and then I just usually loosen everything right up and kind of see see I love that I think it looks great you could always go in, add some more curls if you want something a little um, higher up. Like I said, I did kind of small sections. Um, so you could definitely do bigger sections to have not so many curls. Uh, so as far as reviews on this, I really like it. Um, it's my first one. So far, so good. You know, I'm not sure how long it will last. Like I said, I just got it for Christmas. It's this Remington at Target. $30. Don't need to go out and buy that super expensive one, a 24 hour curl hold, 8 out of 10. I'd probably give it, I'd give it for sure a 9. I mean, why wouldn't I give it a 10, I guess, is this weird, like, winter glove. Otherwise, um, other than that, I say it works really good. So if you wanted to try a first one, that's the one I would use. Um, and I think I look fabulous. Maybe I should take myself out for a drink. <laughs> Again, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, um, questions anything, please just comment below and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thank you.